Yeah, this is Mike with Mike's Accessories with the 2020 Polaris Razor Pro XP Ultimate, uh, the Phantom Ghost Project UTV. Uh, today we're doing a video of the NRG seats. Uh, we definitely thank uh, Wes out there at NRG Innovations, uh, working with us on their um, Ultra um, Prism seat and everything. The color is really decently close to the red and everything, as close as it could get and everything. And uh, don't go with any of that PRP junk or uh, that Sparco or Pro Armor, uh, NRG and everything. And it was pretty easy. One thing I had to do is I had to weld their um, side mount seat brackets, just weld them to the actual um, to the actual seat framing. On this, and we do still have the slider mechanism. You can see the slider right there. So you can see I'm fixing to. Um, you can see I'm gonna push the seat back. You can see it, you can hear it clicking backwards, or, or if you have to sit in it, you can be able to pull it back forward and everything. And uh, the only thing I do though is you can see it's a little bit rocky and everything because it's on that uh, hinge or on that uh, slider bracket down there, and it slides on a piece of tube. So I'm gonna have to just look at that so I can put like a, some kind of a brace down there so it so it won't rock. You can see it rocks, but that's just that's a pretty quick thing and. Um, and it goes all the way up and like it says it worked with the sli si the slider brackets uh, like I said NRG we also worked with NRG on their uh, five point harnesses uh, won't won't be putting those in today but hopefully by next week um, I'll have these pieces in have the center pieces back in and then I can start uh, putting the uh, though the the C harnesses just definitely go with NRG um, uh, they don't do a whole lot for UTV side by sides. Uh, mostly it's just like uh, race vehicles and stuff like that. But I wanted to go with something else that nobody else had. And I just feel like the quality of these seats and the price, you can't really beat it and everything like that. So now this and we welded straight to the the bracket and everything, the metal bracket. And you can see it does not move at all. So I welded straight to it and it did have a slider on this side. So um, it welded in pretty good and everything. And uh, I'll do um, um, a continuation video here in a second showing it um, um, how we welded it all in. And you can see how it all looks with the headliner in place and stuff like that. There'll be a wire loom going down through here and then all this wire down here will be tucked into a trim piece that we're having built. We'll be revealing the maker of that piece, driver and passenger side next week. And um, so you can see it all. And don't they wouldn't go up too high on the seats uh, towards the headliner, and then you can still see the um, the TVs behind the seats really good. So um, it's gonna look good in that console once I get the console fully um, back in um, about a, about a week or two. Here's how we welded it in place and everything. Um, this side, we just kept it close to that bolt right there, which is part of the factory seat stuff. And then just put a, should have just put a piece of metal flat, but we didn't know that until we got to the other side and everything. And uh, of course, all this is not seeable and we'll be painting it and cleaning all this up, but it's actually underneath the seats. And then this side is the side that we put the flat bracket down and should have done it that way on that side too. But, but anyways, all this ain't seeable and it's all, uh, holding very strong and stuff like that. So, um, and then I'll show you the uh, um, the um, uh, the other side. And here finishes off the video. This is how it's pretty easy. Uh, just put a plate, weld it to the slider, which as you can see, it slides back and forth and everything. But like I said, I got to put a a piece of trim in it to hold it down everything and uh but you see the other side the other side we didn't do it that way we did cut off there was a couple little l pieces right here that were probably about that that small or pretty small from the factory so we cut them off and everything and just put this and this side had the same thing so we welded them there and welded there and um you can tell it's pretty strong and everything so um and uh like i said just get with uh, those guys at nrg innovations for all your seat needs for race cars, cars, trucks, even UTVs, you may just have to do a little modification yourself on them and area like that with the brackets and stuff like that um, and just get this project done.